Now I have before me two seemingly similar laptops. They have the same chassis. In fact, they look almost identical from the inside besides the coloring. They have the same screen size, trackpad, keyboard layout, and they're even the same weight and thickness. We're talking about the Acer Swift 3 OLED versus the Acer Swift X. But the internal components and the screen make these laptops great for two different use cases. And let's talk about those use cases right now in this video. We're gonna cover some of the things about the screen and the performance. Those are the biggest differences between these two laptops that will help you make a decision. First and foremost, if you're a digital artist, graphic designer, or photographer, you're gonna highly benefit from the screen on the Acer Swift 3 OLED. It's gonna be a more color accurate screen, it's gonna be brighter, and it's gonna reach a larger color gamut range. So really important when you're trying to accurately reproduce colors on your designs and your art and your photography. So that's a big thing. Now, if you're in music production, you could also benefit from the Acer Swift 3 because it doesn't have a dedicated GPU, saving you a little bit of money, but it has a powerful CPU with high single core performance. And inside of a music production software, the DAW really benefits from having high single core performance. And so it's gonna save you money by kicking off the dedicated GPU, saying we don't need that, but giving you a powerful H series processor. Now, on the other hand, this laptop is gonna be great if you like to game on the side, if you like to do some light 3D modeling, if you're more of a serious video editor. The Swift 3 can do some good video editing, but the Swift X with a dedicated GPU is gonna be better at video editing. All right, so let's move forward and check out the benchmarks so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Now, first and foremost, we're gonna kick it off in Geekbench single core and multi-core. Now, as you can see, the Swift X is actually sitting above the Swift 3 inside of Geekbench single core and multi-core, but not by much at all. Now, the reason is you have that dedicated GPU and you have a i7-1260P, which can boost up to a little bit higher than the H-Series counterpart i7. However, the 1260p can't really hold on to that high frequency as long as the H-Series SKU can. And we'll see that once we get into some of the real world benchmarks, how it might benefit you to go with the Swift 3 over the Swift X. Um, but again, they both have great performance in both single core and multi-core because they both can reach the same frequencies. And moving on to Cinebench R23, you can see they're neck and neck in both single core and multi-core, proving that they're both great machines and they have the performance you need just with the unique use cases for each one. Now let's jump into that now inside of Photoshop. As you can see inside of Photoshop, the Acer Swift 3 OLED scores a 776 and the Swift X scores a 817. So they're very close in performance for graphic designers, photographers, and digital artists. However, you benefit from getting the OLED screen versus paying the price for the non-OLED screen and ending up with a dedicated GPU that you really don't need. So there you go. That's the benefit of choosing the 3 over the X. Now, moving on to video editing, this is where we're gonna see the Acer Swift X shine with its dedicated GPU. We're gonna see no dropped frames for 4K video editing out of a nine minute project with 16,177 frames in the project, whereas we're going to see 149 drop frames out of the Acer Swift 3. Now, as we move on to 6K B-RAW half quality, at best, we're gonna see about 1,500 drop frames out of the laptop, whereas we're only gonna see 33 drop frames with the Acer Swift X. So the Acer Swift X is gonna give you a lot better performance while video editing. Now, let's not even bring up 3D modeling because without the dedicated GPU, this laptop barely could run the tests. So if you're doing a, light, a little bit of light 3D modeling, maybe you're working inside a Blender a tiny bit, this laptop could be, help you get away with that. Now, Blender isn't gonna be the best performance for this laptop. This is a 3050 Ti. I recommend a RTX 3060 laptop for Blender because Blender is a very graphics heavy program. It's gonna benefit from having a larger GPU, but you could definitely play around with it and kind of learn Blender with this laptop. Now let's talk battery life. This might be an important factor for you, especially if you're an on-the-go creator. The Swift 3 OLED does not have good battery life. It has about a six hour and 40 minute battery life for productivity, about five hours and 20 something minutes for streaming video playback. Whereas the Acer Swift X with the i7-1260P has about eight hours of passmark productivity battery life, about eight hours and 57 minutes of streaming video playback, 
four hours of Photoshop battery life and about three hours of video editing battery life. So battery life is your thing. The Acer Swift X is gonna do far better with that processor that has a lower TDP. So it can you know, power on lower wattage compared to the i7 12700H, which takes more watts, more power draw to run and run the CPU at high performance. So battery life is definitely gonna be over here with the Swift X. So which one should you buy? If you're a graphic designer, digital artist, and photographer, because of the OLED screen, I would definitely go for this laptop. However, if battery life is important to you, then it's really no question that the Swift X is gonna do well. However, it doesn't have as good of color gamut range and color accuracy. Now, if you're in music production, I would definitely recommend the Swift 3 with the powerful single core performance in the i7-12700H. With the absence of a dedicated GPU, helps save you a little bit of money and get high single core performance. However, I would not recommend running multiple monitors on this because it doesn't have a dedicated GPU, which helps run those monitors and not suck away the power from your CPU. So if you're going to want to run multiple monitors in music production, I would definitely check out the Acer Swift X with a dedicated GPU and still pretty solid a single core performance out of that i7-1260P. However, you know, it doesn't have as high of a TDP. So, you know, it may bottleneck a little bit on more complicated workflows, but it could be a good option for you as well. They're about the same price point. So I hope this has helped you with the decision between the two laptops. Again, we're trying to pass 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. And if we do, we kick off the laptop giveaway. So super awesome, I'm excited for that. It's gonna be amazing to give away three awesome laptops once we reach 100,000 subscribers. All right, links in the description below if you wanna check out the live pricing and the likes of this video has brought you some value. I'll see you here in the next one.